everyone. I'm back again for another edition of Get Sketchy with Christy and Rachel. And this is the sketch we're working with. It is by jennygevans.blogspot.com for Creative Scrappers, which is creativescrappers.blogspot.com. And it's very cute with multiple levels of chevrons. So what I'm going to do is put you on fast forward. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, get started with the layout, and we'll see what goes on. All right. Bye, everyone. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is grab my Ranger Texture Paste and my Color Shine in Butter from Heidi Swap uh, Color Shine Family. And I'm just going to mix that together to kind of get a tone-on-tone -tone look for my stenciling work. Now, this plate I just picked up at Goodwill for like 10 cents. So I'm going to go ahead and use the chevron stencil from Tim Holtz, and I'm going to repeat that three times to mimic what happens in the sketch. So now I do make it go one way in the middle and then the other two ways on the ends, which does differentiate from the sketch, but it's just something I prefer. I like my chevrons going back and forth as opposed to going all in one direction. And as I'm doing this, I am not being very neat about it. I'm not looking for uniform look for it. I'm really just looking for kind of a messy, chevron -y type look. Now, as I'm doing this one, my cat Xanthi, uh, if any of you have used stencils with modeling paste, you know it makes kind of like a zigging sound. And my cat was like, what is that? So she tries to poke her little head in, but I get rid of her pretty quick. So that all dries and everything, and the first thing I'm going to do is cut down my cardstock because I've decided I want to put a border edge on it using the pattern paper I plan to use elsewhere in the layout. So here's my paper, and this is from the IM collection. This is part of the counterfeit kit I put together to go with my Scraptastic kit. So this is something I already had in my stash. And I thought it went well with what I already had for the kit. And I do have a video talking about the kit I put together. So if you want to see that, it is in my video library. I really need to put together, like, playlist groups. So <laughs> people, if actually people do want to go look for something I'm talking about, I can tell them where it is. So I go ahead and cut off a chunk of this paper, two inches wide. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hand cut those smaller chevrons that were in the sketch using this pattern paper. I don't know what drug I was taking that I thought I should do this, <laughs> but it, it actually kind of worked. So I was actually quite pleased with myself. So I start to cut it and I realized, oh, it'll be much easier if I just draw a line down the center of the opposite side with a pen, and then I can just cut up to that line now, they're not all even, and some are thicker than others, but I was super happy with how it turned out and pretty pleased with myself for, you know, managing to do this. So I'm going to cut, I think I cut like 11 of them because that's how many are in the original sketch, and I do believe I end up using all of them, just not exactly in the same spot that they are in the original sketch because I am using a wider photo, so there isn't as much room for the one on the far right as there is in the original sketch. So I'm placing these out, and I'm trying to place them so that the ones that were cut right next to each other are not right next to each other, so it doesn't look like a continuation of the design. That's just not the look I was going for. You could absolutely do that if you wanted to. It'd actually be really cute. So I've got this photo of my niece when she was four years old and her friend, they had gone, her mother and her and her friend and her family had gone to Sesame Place. And so this is a photo of them at Sesame Place in Pennsylvania. Now, because there is one thing with the texture paste, ATG and or tape runner glue does not work very well on it. So I put a line down in the middle that is going to go in between those two stencils, but the rest I use my Scotch Quick Dry Adhesive. I also find that using foam tape works quite well. I just, because I was going to be placing these chevron cuts over the photo, I did not want 
that photo to be that high because then I would have had to compensate for that. So I've got those all glued down. I did cut that bit out. It took a, it took a fair amount of time. And I grabbed these Heidi Swap Puffy stickers and I'm going to put out the title Sweet Girls. Now, I will be totally honest. I probably have four or five layouts throughout the years called Sweet Girls. Anytime my niece is with a friend and they're looking particularly cute, that tends to be my title. It doesn't bother me. They're not going to go next to each other in the albums. And I highly doubt, you know, when my niece is a grown-up and has children of her own. And that's who I assume is going to actually be interested in these layouts. Although my, the other night my niece actually grabbed all my layouts that I have yet to put in albums and just went through them. And actually, I kid you not, people, she read the journaling. I was shocked, but very pleased, so yay. All right, so I'm just putting a little bit of journaling because there isn't really, this isn't, I try to tell stories and I, most of my layouts have a story for them. This one just happened to be, they were looking particularly cute at Sesame Place. So that was what I wrote down. Now I did forget my niece's friend's name for a second. This is a friend who went to preschool and together and then we moved and they have lost touch. So, but they were very good friends for quite a few years in preschool. So I grab the hearts that I had, they are chipboard hearts that I had embossed with uh, my wow embossing powder. And then I grabbed that ombre pink fresh, pink fresh studio tag in the yellow. And I'm going to move that chipboard heart over to that tag because I really, when I have a bold embellishment like these gold hearts, they do pop out from the rest of the layout. I really do like to try to keep them in a triangular pattern rather than a line. It just helps move your eye around the layout a lot better than putting those in a line. All right, now that cork circle embellishment is from my Scraptastic kit. And now I'm going to grab the Craft Market stickers that I used as part of my counterfeit kit. And I grabbed this arrow and I had tried to use it before, and when I put it back, I wasn't very neat about it, so it took a while to get it off the sticker sheet. And then I'm also going to grab that sticker that says loved to put in the upper corner. And I think I grab one more sticker, but before I do that, I go ahead, okay, I go ahead and glue down that happy cork piece, and then I find a circular one that says hello. Oh, okay, first I add that little gold ampersand, and then I add... Sometimes I forget what I've done in what order anyways. And I add that sticker that says hello. And then I take the exclusive die cut from the Scraptastic kit. And I put that down the side. Cute, because they are super cute. And now I'm just going to grab my enamel dots. And this is going to be one of the last things I do. And I just put three sets of yellow dots in three different areas. I really am trying, for the most part, for tone on tone with yellow. It's not a color I work with very often. It's not a color I'm super comfortable with, but it really worked out very well. I'm very happy with this layout. I think it's very pretty. And this is paper that when I bought it, I was like, ooh, I don't know. I assumed I was going to use the other side because it's that nice aqua color, but I ended up using it for this side. Now, I used my... Heidi Swap Gold Color Shine, and as you see, the, the color is a bit different now. I had put it down, I'd had to run an errand, and when I came back, I went, I do not like that single chevron piece up at top, so I had two extra pieces anyways, so I went ahead and added those, and as I was thinking about it, and what ended up happening was I forgot to turn on my other light because I thought I was done, so I just, you know, didn't even think about it, so there's a lot of shadows and stuff. So... I decide I'm also going to add my Heidi Swap Color Shine in teal alongside the gold. I just thought it brought in a little extra something. And then right then I'm like, oh, Emily. Her name is Emily. So I went ahead and after I show you close-ups, I'm like, oh, yes, let me write it down right now before I forget. So <laughs> that's going to complete my layout. Okay, so here we are with our completed layout.
with our sketch. Now I stuck pretty much to the sketch again. Uh, now you absolutely don't have to, when you use a sketch, you could like just take the idea of a large graphic print or just take the idea of three small photos. You know, it's up to you. I tend to follow sketches, but that's just me. So along with my sketch, this happens to be part of the Crafty Mavens Destination Group. Uh, online crop we had last weekend. Uh, actually, Christie's challenge was to use a color that you don't normally use or that's a little scary for you, and that for me is yellow. I don't scrap a lot with yellow. So this was actually a bit daunting for me. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope everyone has a good time. I hope you come back in two weeks to see another Get It get sketchy with Christy and Rachel. I will also have, of course, my regular videos up. And I am up tomorrow on the Crafty Mavens getaway for my Spotlight Sunday, so that if you're not watching this on time, that would be Saturday, September 27th. So, ah, a little nerve wracking for that, I will be totally honest. Um, other than that, I will see you all on YouTube. Bye!